Megalodon was quite simply one of the biggest and most powerful predators to have ever lived on the planet. It was a prehistoric species of shark that lived from the early Miocene to the Pliocene, 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Megalodon's size and appearance have been hotly debated over the years. Whilst its fossilized vertebrae and skulls have been found by scientists, the most common are the teeth. From these, researchers have estimated the giant shark's size and body form. Incredibly, a megalodon tooth dwarfs that of a great white shark. A full-grown human would need to use both hands to hold one of these gigantic teeth, measuring 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches long. Equally impressive have been the fossilized megalodon vertebrae that have been found, some measuring as big as a dinner plate. Although size estimates of megalodon have been debated over the years, their maximum length has been considered anything from 14 to 20 meters or 47 to 67 feet. In comparison, great white sharks can reach about 20 feet long, but typically average 15. Impressive reconstructions of megalodon have shown that a full-grown human standing upright could fit within its jaws. Megalodon was once thought to be related to great white sharks, but fossilized evidence points to a separate lineage. Their snouts were likely more squashed than the great whites, with a less pointy tip. Due to its enormous size, it is thought that the megalodon had extended pectoral fins to help support it in the water. These fins would be more like today's blue sharks. But what happened to the largest fish to have ever lived in our waters? What did it eat? And where did it live? Here, we ask the question, could megalodon survive nowadays? Firstly, let's consider its diet. Would there be the same prey available today? And if so, would there be enough? We know that megalodon dominated the oceans and that its size has largely been estimated from its huge serrated fossilized teeth. These teeth would have enabled the shark to capture its prey. To keep an animal of its size alive, these sharks would have fed on large marine animals, but they were also likely to be opportunistic hunters, similar to today's sharks, with a wide range of prey species on the menu. They hunted many cetaceans that ranged in size from dolphins to humpback whales. They likely ate sperm whales, bowhead whales, and those of the blue whale family, as well as seals and sea turtles. Although today's great white sharks typically attack from below, torpedoing upwards, and attacking an animal's soft underbelly, Megalodon may have used its huge jaws to crunch through its prey, piercing its heart and lungs. Its feeding strategy and prey preference may have varied depending on its age, size, and global location. For example, juveniles probably ate fish and other sharks, and megalodon populations that lived near smaller whale species probably preyed on those rather than the larger whales found elsewhere. Teeth fragments belonging to megalodon have been found inside fossilized whale rib bones. They have also been found lying next to predated whale remains. These findings give scientists clues about the megalodon's diet and lifestyle. They could open their jaws wide, as much as 3.5 meters wide, displaying 276 teeth. They could likely have pierced the shells of sea turtles with a single bite. The bite force of a great white shark is predicted to be just over 18,000 newtons, but that of a megalodon is thought to have been up to 180,000 newtons. So, would there be enough prey for megalodon in the oceans today? Globally, whale populations have declined over the decades. Blue whale populations have dropped dramatically over the past century. Scientists believe that as few as 5,000 mature individuals may remain alive today, with up to 25,000 individuals in total. This compares to the 135,000 humpback whales and 10,000 bowhead whales. And that's not all. Some species of sea turtles are in sharp decline too. The global leatherback turtle population has declined by as much as 40% over the past three generations. Loggerhead sea turtles are classified as vulnerable, and other species are under threat from bycatch, water pollution, and climate change. Although there are millions of pinnipeds across the world, which include sea lions, seals, and walruses, many of these are also at risk. 10 of the 36 pinniped species are considered endangered or vulnerable. It seems that, while there may just be about enough prey to keep a small population of megalodon alive in our oceans, these prey species are under serious threat. Many of them are on the brink of extinction. Many of their populations would not survive if a gigantic, prehistoric predator was thrown into the mix. 
It wouldn't be long before Megalodon overhunted what little prey was available to them. Even so, let's also take a look at the Megalodon's prehistoric habitat and the environment in which it lived. Megalodon lived in warm tropical and subtropical regions across the globe. Their fossilized teeth have been found in every continent except for Antarctica. These teeth can be found along coastlines and riverbeds. In some areas, like the east coast of North America, they are so common that people can go diving for them. The water temperatures it survived in ranged between 1 and 24 degrees Celsius, or 34 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a possibility that it practiced mesothermy. This is the ability to conserve metabolic heat, therefore keeping body temperature above that of the surrounding environment. Some of today's large sharks, like the Great White, have this ability. The smaller, younger megalodons lived in the shallower, coastal waters, and those swampy lagoons. Adults preferred the deep, open ocean. Evidence suggests that those living in the southern hemisphere were larger than those in the north. The oceans of today would provide the right sort of habitat for megalodon. There are plenty of coastal regions that would offer the right temperatures for this species of shark. But today's world is very different from the Pliocene. The coast has changed dramatically not least due to the impact of man. Could a huge apex predator survive the heavy shipping lanes, dwindling fisheries, noisy coastlines, and water pollution of today? Even in the open ocean, they would likely be affected by some form of human interference. Maybe today's world is too different from that in which the megalodon dominated. But what was the reason for their extinction? They died off long before humans made their mark on the world. We know from fossilized evidence that the megalodon never made it to the end of the Pliocene. In fact, it likely became extinct around 3.6 million years ago. There seem to have been a few factors that led to the megalodon's demise. Sea temperatures cooled as the climate changed towards the end of the Pliocene. This resulted in up to a third of all marine animals becoming extinct. As the oceans dropped in temperature, many smaller species either struggled to survive or moved away. This had a knock-on effect all the way up the food chain, right to the top. Although some of its prey may have adapted to the temperature changes and moved into the cooler seas, the megalodon was adapted to warmer waters. It was unable to follow its prey. As well as suffering a loss in food availability, megalodon faced another problem with climate change. Megalodon gave birth in warm, shallow coastal waters. These areas were safer for the young to avoid predation in the open water. But as ice caps formed at the poles, seawater became locked up as ice and sea levels dropped. This would have destroyed the pupping grounds that Megalodon relied upon. It was for these multiple reasons that the Megalodon became extinct. Some have questioned whether this incredible predator may still lurk in our deepest, darkest oceans today. Perhaps a small population still survives going undetected for thousands of years. Although having a predator like a megalodon would be an awesome, if not terrifying sight, it is almost impossible for them to be living today. We would have seen some evidence by now. We would have seen large bite marks on some of its prey that washed ashore, or we would have found their huge teeth littering the ocean floor, not just the fossilized ones. To go undetected, megalodon would have to survive in the deepest open ocean on the planet. But this was a warm water species. It would not be able to inhabit the cold waters of the deep. Unfortunately, we believe the greatest predator to have ever graced our oceans would not survive today. For such a huge animal, there wouldn't be enough food or habitat left. It would face the same difficulties and threats that today's marine wildlife is facing. And, being an apex predator, it would fall the hardest of all. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.